Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tony and I have to lose weight. Welcome back for another update. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the challenges of doing WW on a cruise ship. Uh, and uh, we, I got a big uh, celebration though uh, for the lovely Jenny B. So uh, th I'm going to let her tell you about it. But yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about what's going on in the moment right now. It is Friday the 21st of January and I am still on a cruise ship. Right now I'm somewhere in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Uh, I am making my way to an island in the Bahamas. Tomorrow I'll be at uh, Coco Cay, which uh, I'm on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. That's the Harmony of the Seas. They have their own private island. And so that's that's where we're going tomorrow. But we've been several places over the last few days. Yesterday we were in St. Thomas, the U.S. Virgin Islands. The day before we were in St. Martin. And so I've been living that cruise life, as it were. I know many of you are over here from the Cruising Channel, but maybe we picked up some WW fans or some weight loss people, people on weight loss journeys. Uh, that be interesting in the comments are you here from the cruising channel or are you not a cruiser uh that would be cool to start to understand how that plays out but uh look today was my weigh in day for weight watchers i can't weigh in at weight watchers today because i'm on the cruise ship and so i'm on this week-long journey to see if i can follow my ww program and actually lose weight on a cruise ship i won't know that until i get home sunday really probably until i uh weigh in on uh, Monday on my home scale. So I, I just want to talk real briefly about how the week has gone and what I see the biggest challenge for WW is for me on the cruise. Uh, first and foremost, last week we talked about uh, something I picked up from the book Atomic Habits. I'll continue to link that book in the description. I'm not being paid to talk about that book, but that link is an affiliate link. Uh, so if you do click it, uh, I will get some uh, cash back from Amazon. But uh, I'm not recommending it because of that. I'm recommending it because the material is really good. And last week uh, we talked about uh, trusting the process to get the outcome. Not really focusing on the outcome, but trusting the process. So even though I need to lose weight, uh, I really shouldn't focus on that number. I should just focus on following the process, and the process that I am following is WW. So that is all well and good until you have challenges with your process. And I have a little bit of a challenge with the process uh, with WW on the cruise ship. Uh, the challenge is this. You, you have to track everything that you eat. And when you're tracking things that are just... Uh, by themselves that's easy like if I'm tracking a cup of grilled chicken or a cup of tomatoes or a cup of cucumbers and those things are by themselves uh, th that works out really well in the WW app because there are point values to that the challenge with the cruise ship is almost every meal that you run into uh, is prepared and so if you go to the buffet the dishes are prepared and you don't necessarily know what's in it what all the ingredients are so unless you're eating just uh, singular raw I don't know what the word is but if you're just unless you're just eating the single item then it's it's a little challenging to track and so you don't know uh, like I said if there's a chicken dish you don't necessarily know everything that's in it and so to overcome that to be fair and to overcome it I have been just trying to eat those single items or you know like just have you know beef without anything on it or a chicken or you know a protein that kind of thing and I've been able to overcome it that way I feel like I have been well within my points uh, but I also feel a little bummed out sometimes like when you see something that looks appetizing the fact that you don't really know if it's got high points or low points uh, you know, I'm hesitant to, tr to eat it and, uh, I feel a little, you know, annoyed that way sometimes. So, uh, you know, I I'm, I'm making it, I'm making it through. Like that's the whole goal is to prove that I can use this program to get uh, through a week and not gain weight on a cruise. That's the short term goal. But, uh, again, it's focusing on the process for the long term overall weight loss. And so I'm excited to figure out whether or not I have lost weight. I feel thinner, like the non-scale victories as I look at my face, which I have to every day because I make these videos. Uh, I feel like my face is getting a little thinner. The shirts are a little looser. And so uh, all that stuff seems good. Now, somebody that has a quantitative result for us today is the lovely Jenny B. Let me see if I can raise her on the phone to see uh, how she did today. Hello. Hi. Hey, Jenny. You are uh, you're on the camera, so don't swear much, okay? What the? What? The, what, the, what? You're going to get me in trouble. It's the lovely Jenny B on the phone, everybody. Say hello to everybody. What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? All right, so I was teasing a little bit. I know that you went for your way in. I know what the outcome is, but uh, how much weight did you lose this week? This week, I lost 6.4. 
6.4 pounds, and then you lost 7 pounds last week for a total of... Drum roll, 13.4. 13.4. So I've been talking uh, to the folks here about my challenges on the cruise ship is that when it comes to prepared food, it's hard for me to figure out how many points are in it. What Did you have any big challenges on WW this week or what did you find easy or hard to do this week on WW? Um, so I found it easier to for my coffee. Like uh, be- right before you left, you bought me a sugar-free hazelnut coffee yeah. creamer works fantastic because it was half the points of my other creamer that's the pro tip you didn't know what that was going to taste like right right so that's one of the things that i would recommend that's worked for us if you have something that you really love and you love that it's full of sugar so like for us the french vanilla creamer we know what that tastes like with sugar we love it and if you give us like sugar free or fat free versions of that we hate it and then we're mad about it well the easy thing to do or a thing to try is to go with a flavor that you never drink and start with the sugar free or the fat free and you just kind of think that's what it tastes like and so that makes that transition easier. And so, yeah, you cut all your coffee points in half this week, right? I did. And, you know, I was a little concerned with us being apart mm-hmm. um, because you are such a great, you know, um, I don't know, like uh, support. And we support each other. So I was a little afraid with you and I being apart, but I, I did it. You certainly did. Well, uh, baby, I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to be home and see you in a couple days. I hope that I have at least some success. Uh, again, I'm out here in the in the middle of the ocean, and so I don't know. I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm making really good food choices, and uh, I'm sticking to the plan. So hopefully that means a victory, but I won't know until I get back to a scale that I know. So uh, I'm hopeful. Well, and I'm really proud of you, too, because you've been doing a lot of extra movement, which is fantastic. I've been moving a lot. My body's sore today. I walked a couple miles in St. Thomas yesterday, so, yeah. Well, cool. Well, thank you, baby. Well, I, I love you. Oh. Well, listen, I love you, too, and I'll see you Saturday, and I'll see less of you. I Hopefully, and I know I'm seeing less of you, and uh, thank you for the update. Everybody appreciates it. We right. love you. Love right. you. Love you guys. Talk, Bye. Talk later. Bye. There you go, the wonderful Jenny B. Raise the roof. Let's celebrate with her, and we would love to celebrate with you. What are you celebrating today? Uh, Leave a comment below with your celebrations. What are you challenged with today? Leave your challenges below, and let's uh, circle up as a community and encourage and celebrate with each other. Uh, My name's Tony. I have to lose. I'll probably come with an update video Monday, Tuesday-ish to talk about how my week on the cruise went, and then I go back to Weight Watchers next Friday, and so we should have another weight update. But uh, but yeah, uh, Lots of great stuff to talk about. Uh, How are you doing with your program? This is Tony for Have to Lose, and we will see you on the next video. Hopefully less of you. Bye.